What is up, my brethren and sistren? Wrapping up them paws is critical in the effort to keeping your wrists, your knuckles, your thumbs, and the little bones in your hands supported and protected while you throw them bombs. So without further ado, this is how you properly wrap your hands. All right, so first you got your 180 inch hand wraps. It's around that thumb. You got this side down across the back of your hand, covering that big wrist bone. Beautiful, just like that. Make sure you tug it tight there and make sure you're secure. All right, now we're gonna go three times around the wrist, all right? Three times around the wrist. Try to get that, um, try to get that wrap to lay flat on top of each other. Make sure that there's not too much overlap there. Beautiful. And just a little tug at each end. Again, you want it tight, but you also wanna be able to breathe under there and not cut off your circulation. All right, now we're gonna go up through the thumb. Um, lay it down evenly in between the web of your thumb. That's gonna protect the thumb so it doesn't get jammed back. And then we're gonna go across the back of the hand like so to lock that down. Beautiful. All right, make sure that those fingers are spread because again, we don't wanna cut off circulation. Um, when it's all done, I've had times where I'm like, oh, that's too tight and I've had to rewrap the entire thing. So we're gonna come up, cover the pinky knuckle, come around the underneath of the hand, and then back across the knuckles, all right? You wanna be about an inch under your middle knuckle, or your um, your finger knuckle there. So you're just covering, just covering the knuckles and like halfway up into that finger knuckle. All right, three times around the knuckles there. Beautiful, and then we're gonna go back down across the hand. Awesome job. That's protecting all those little bones in our hands and back there. Um, and we're gonna go up through the pinky and ring finger, coming down across the palm of the hand, back through the bottom of the thumb there, where it connects with the wrist, and then back up through the ring and the middle finger. And notice how I kind of clench my hand just to kind of keep them locked down as I'm doing this. Beautiful. That's the last one. Notice that little flap. Fold that in and then go up back across the back of the hand there again. Kind of flatten that all out, make it look pretty. All right, now we're gonna come back up. The same way you wrap the knuckles before we went through the fingers. We're gonna lay all that work that we just did down so that stuff doesn't come undone all right fold that down beautiful come back through the bottom of the hand take inventory of how much uh, wrap you have left and honestly you covered all your bases you got your wrist you got your knuckles you got your thumb you got the back of the hand so at this point you just dedicate the rest of the wrap to where you feel you need it and I've had uh, some problems with my wrists in the past, so I always give a little extra protection to my wrist. It looks like I got two more wraps out of my wrist there. Velcro it down, and you're good to go. Make sure it feels good, open up the hand, um, you know, hit something real quick, make sure it's not too tight, and uh, you're off to the races. Thanks so much for watching this video. You got your knuckles, you got your wrist, you got your thumb. Um, you're good to go, all right? So practice it, it's it's gonna take a little while to get it perfect, but uh, practice it and check out my other videos, subscribe to my channel, and uh, we'll see you next time.